Hello and welcome back. Today we're playing as Sokoto in Victoria 3. Uh, last episode we joined the British as a protectorate of them. Oops, that's a different one. We joined British as a protectorate of them. Um, this allowed us to kind of engage in a whole bunch of wars where they would not stick their finger in our pie because this seems to be the case. It seems they really go after you if you have Zululand. Um, and so, or if you have Zululand as a vassal, they just join to annex Zululand all the time, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I don't know if they're hard-coded to do this, or they, for whatever reason, the game mechanics wants them to value Zululand. This seems to be UK specifically that does this, so I think they're just hard-coded to value Zululand, or van value annexing Zululand. In any case, we managed to, you know, fully annex this area, which, very importantly, there's a ton of gold mines, and so this will really support our ability to absolutely crank up construction really, really high. Um, this is kind of what I think we'll be trying to do today. Two episodes ago, we tripled construction. Last episode, we boosted it by 50%. This this episode, I'm hoping we can at least double it to, you know, the 600-ish range. Maybe try and triple it here. Um, and so this will feel pretty good. Uh, I guess I should have done an introduction speech on, uh, uh, this is, these are rookie numbers. Except 300 kind of is a rookie number, so, like, doubling 300 is not as amusing as doubling 4K or whatever. Caught him in 4K. So we'll be off and away, uh, trying to make use of the gold we have. We are pretty infamous right now, um, relatively speaking. Uh... And so, not going to be looking to mix things up too much. Uh, overall, we do want to kind of acquire more surface area uh, in the Congo here, or just overall to allow us to, you know, work better. So, vassalizing Zanzibar wouldn't be terrible with the intention of annexing them, getting access into Hehe, and kind of cruising in through here. Um, this isn't terrible. We are trying to snake in a little bit here, past uh, the United States. We could try and just take South Cameroon from them. I think that this would also make sense. They are really, really weak, because this is the United States that uh, Jesus border for. But this is this United States, not um, the Free States, which is where most of the stuff is. So we could go after some of their stuff. Um, it is going to cost a ton of infamy, though. Uh, so, eh. I don't know how much how worth it is. Uh, we could conquer American Gabon, though. Uh, this would be decent. Uh, and it would not be too, too much. And then we could also just go out for war reps in addition to that. And then maybe we would have a solid snake in here. Um, France has been at war for forever with Congo. They've been really struggling there. Uh, Spanish are probably going to get cut off by France. But we want to minimize the amount of people who are able to come into the Congo here. Um, we don't have a good way to cut off Great Britain is one problem, but I don't know how we solve that. Uh, we are losing a bunch of money. Why? We still have decent reserves. I mean, we have added quite a bit of construction, so maybe this is the reason why. We are pulling up on these gold mines. Let's change the PMs on all of them. To... Condensing. Another reason, I suppose, to kind of prioritize nitroglycerin in a way is uh because of these mines in fact we might no we want to get the full nat spread so we're going to wait for baking powder and chem bleaching to naturally spread to us but after that we might come in on to dynamite and also shift work steel railway cars probably pretty good look um we are vassal or we are colonizing over here so we're colonizing in a whole bunch of spots uh that are going at a good pace because we're not colonizing above our malaria level that we can't accept for here but this is just because we wanted to get at least a, like at least a snake in like this so that we don't get cut off of this front specifically there's still a lot of room in hero and uh namana or nama that i think will be okay uh, we would love to cut off great britain but i don't see how we do it um especially because we're a protector of them maybe when we ask for independence this sort of thing we can do this uh Investment pool is fully drained. We're making money. This is pretty good. Or it was fully drained. We are trying to make sure that we have enough, uh, what is it, bureaucracy to incorporate. I think we did, haven't incorporated this one yet. Yeah, so this is why we have the admins in the uh, construction queue for the most part. Um, do want to incorporate this. There's quite a lot of turmoil there. Hopefully we get rid of it. Um, there's going to be a lot of turmoil from discrimination. We're hoping to get multiculturalism, like, kind of in a reasonable uh, time frame, but uh, we don't even have the tech for it yet, so uh, there's that. Yeah, just waiting on this one to finish. 
and then we're gonna pop up a little bit. Well, why don't we just... I just want to click it so I don't have to worry about it. Alright, we're just gonna click it. Uh, it's gonna figure itself out in a second here, and we are going to start working on the boom booms in the room rooms. I think we start here, maybe? Coal mines, and then I know we have the boom booms built up here. Right? We're gonna swap to ammonia, sodium process, and look to increase the amount of boom booms we have even more. And probably build boom booms somewhere else as well. Somewhere that doesn't really have any industry going on. I guess we don't really want this place to be focused on paper, so we're gonna go chem plants and we're gonna put them on auto expand here. We finished colonization of Timbuktu. I think that's down here. Yeah. Finishing that out quite nicely. These places need to employ to get rid of this tax waste. Tax waste is very, very bad to be running um, because. And the money just gets deleted. It doesn't get refunded to your pops, so it just goes into the nothingness. We will uh, increase these to use boom booms, uh, which of course will make them much more profitable. So we will be getting a lot of minting from this. Yeah, look at that. Look at that just crank up. Uh, if we take a look at the minting, this is coming up quite nicely here. So, very, very nice. It doesn't increase your GDP, really, but uh, it does increase the economy quite a lot. We're going to put a couple of these at the front, and then five at the back, and then handle it as needed. Uh, they do have an infrastructure problem. We are building a railway, so I think if we're just... There's three railways getting constructed there, just one over there. One should be enough, but we should have more stuff in the queue, so we'll just add another one there. And now, oops, shameful being in the British market, but you know, sometimes you gotta do it. Gonna add a little bit more construction there, and also there. So actually quite a bit more construction, but look, we're making so much money here. Uh, now that we're, like the minting is just taking off here. We're making tons more money. So, we're just going to keep on going this route. So, we can also declare war on the United States. We can go for a South Cameroon. That's so much infamy, though. Um, the American Gabon's really not a lot, it feels like, relative to what we'd be getting. If we had this, and we would clean cut them out of Gabon, and they wouldn't, or they would be able to push into Gabon through here, or maybe that's a different region, though. So if we, like, clean-cut them out of Gabon, this would really be worth it. But I don't think we clean-cut them. I think they just reinvest here. So I don't think it's worth. Not sure they're colonizing more, though. Doesn't look like it. Looks like they're just having problems, you know? Would love to also take Rift Valley so that we can colonize up through here. This way. Or also... Yeah, so maybe we go after Zanzibar here. And go for vassalizing them. We do have quite a bit of infamy, so we have a little bit of time to decide. We can also go up to here and vassalize them. This is actually very small infamy, and we'll kind of have to get through these wars anyways. So we'll just go for it. And just vassalize all the way through here. On everyone. I guess Liberia is another one we have to get through. Are we even close to tributary? We're kind of close to tributary in them. I guess we can't, because we're not neighbors. Maybe we should have tried to tributary these guys? I think they're too small, because we don't want to protectorate them. Yeah, we don't want to protectorate them and then incorporate them. In Liberia, we're not neighbors with. Ah, this is a little volatile here. Got a couple government admins finishing. The investment pool is growing, so... You always have to do this number plus the investment pool change to figure out exactly how much you're making. We also upped construction about 50 since the episode started. 
And incorporation is coming on along quite nicely. We will be taxing these pops. Can go free trade. Might hold on to that for like when we try and go proportional, then switching gears. Really would like to get proportional taxation. I suppose we got to swip swap to wealth voting here. Um, this will. Well, we no longer have the landowner. The really good reason to go oligarchy after you go corn laws is you don't get. Or did we even go corn laws this run? We might not have gone corn laws this run. But I think that we might want to swap to wealth voting because one, it'll help us kneecap the landowners even further. But two, we are trying to. We want to get the. Uh, let's take a look. Let's swap to wealth voting here. Uh, who does that make mad? The landowners. Okay, well, we don't care. Um, but we want to get the trade unionists more powerful. And this is one way to try and promote the trade unionists a little bit. Uh, they give really, really strong bonuses if you make them happy. Uh, and so, currently... Oh, can we not even look at the bonus when they're marginalized? They give really good bonuses, though. Um, they give 10% to manufacturing industry throughput and also another 10% to... Uh, workforce ratio and so um, this is really good if you can do it or if you can run it and so that's what we want to do oh, we can get to being neighbors with Liberia eventually that's funny just by snaking through and of course we're probably going to decay overall in this war maybe should have asked for war reps probably not too big a deal how are we doing on infrastructure now? Have we fixed the problems? Kind of. How much excess infrastructure do we have here? Not if we're at 99%. And are we building another railway? We're building another two, so I guess we just have to wait for those to finish. And then we'll put in more gold. Or mining. This war has been going on forever. No active wars, is it just bugged? It's just bugged. Alright, we vassalize Sigil. Maybe I need to load the game or something for this to go through. And we can vassalize you. You can also conquer state, but we can just vassal pretty comfortably. And I guess we will also go for war reps here. Make it primary. And just keep on pushing through. Someone really big joins against us, we might have to reload, but our military is starting to come up pretty nicely. Dialectics will be nice as well. Is there any society tech we would really love? We would kind of like egalitarianism, but again, we don't have a strong enough... Yeah, we do not have... It's not going to actually help us in the immediate future, so we'll stay off of it. Labor unions would be more helpful in an immediate sense, actually. Which requires egalitarianism, so we'll just stay off of it. Dye works next. It's the best PM. We all die sooner or later, except we choose this one. We shall not have died in vain. I think we can start turning these up as well. More boom booms, more of the time. And switch these. Ooh. I didn't realize we were on the bad PMs for that. My bad. Alright, this railway is about to finish. So, I think we can support quite a bit more gold mines. So, we'll put them at the front of the queue. And that will bring in a lot of money. Minting has gone up quite a bit since we started this episode, like somewhere around here or something. You know, it's just been gr climbing every single time we're finishing these buildings. Also, our GDP is climbing a uh, pretty steady rate, which increases minting as well. Um, but we're in very good shape. Wealth voting may be coming in. We will get parties and such. Uh, it might be harder. We actually, we should be able to get a more legitimate looking government than we have with oligarchy. And we should kneecap the industrialist clout a little bit, which is going to be nice for trying to bring up the trade unionist clout. Um, rousing speech to captivate the public. 
we don't need more attraction for the trade unions. Or sorry, the industrialists at this point. I don't know what's up with the Congo, man. Their dominion, okay, their dominion of France, but they just like look funky. So in theory, we would want to, if we fight France, we want to transfer Ashanti and Congo. I think they are also, ooh, they are just free, Tripoli. I'm not sure if we have a front with them, but subjugating them would be decent. We, of course, want to annex... Where is it? Messenia? At some point? I guess we don't need to annex them in the near future. It's just a bunch of arable land that's already been built up. Oh, I didn't know there's even opium in this area of the world. That is interesting to know. Huh. That's cool. Alright, we're just cranking up so much because of this gold, so we will increase the construction more. It's probably too many construction centers, but can you really ever have too many construction centers? I don't think so. Oh god, you can. Oh god, no. Now we have also a decent amount of surplus, so this is probably okay. Let's take a look here. What is this about? Annex Tigre? Conquer Wella? Okay. Can we subjugate you, Voyos? Don't even have an interest there, actually. Can't even declare an interest. We could declare an interest, or we could take Geldi here, or vassalize them. This is not very much infamy, and then we will have an interest in this region, so we will not have to do anything else. So I think I like doing this. And again, the UK is not going to stick their finger in our pie because we are their protectorate. Uh, we'll just say unfortunate. We don't want people leaving Transvaal. I've I have a kind of moving opinion about that event. Wow. We just expanded construction by a ton and we're still making hand over fist? That is crazy. And we haven't even finished all these mines. Crazy. Yeah, this is going to be a big come up overall. Once we get Geldi, we'll declare an interest in North Africa and maybe go after Tripolitania. I think this is good. We're just slowly expanding everything here. Standard Living is cranking up quite a bit too. Uh, probably because we're really pushing the clothes here in the capital, or we were for a hot minute. Um, they, we still got a whole bunch of the queue. But uh, that's because the tooling workshop, uh, we started to get close, or we hit the economies of scale cap uh, because it's currently capped at 30% until we finish shift work over here, which will bring it up to 50%. So then we want to start 50 wanting buildings. Uh, probably want to do shift work in the near future. Probably going to do dynamite into shift work. The dynamite's going to really synergize quite well with what we got going on um, in terms of having a ton of gold mines in our economy. Uh, and so we'll probably be pushing, looking to push that quite a bit. So why don't we add a few more of these over there. More than happy to get these through. And now we're losing money, but we're fine with losing money. We have upped construction around 100 since the episode started. And we're only like 20 minutes in. It looks like we're provoking a revolution here. I think that's fine. They want to preserve oligarchy, but uh, we're going to do wealth voting. Uh... We'll take the bureaucracy hit. Ooh, I thought we could afford it. We could not. But this is fine. We'll just expand bureaucracy a little bit more uh, than we otherwise would have. We'll put a couple down in Transvaal and in there, wherever Iran is. I don't know how to pronounce this. Vrishtat? That sounds like, uh... <laughs> that sounds like it's Dutch <laughs> or something. And big reason why we're... Take it going after Galeldi here. I guess K Kaffa would have been better to go after, to be honest. In retrospect, we should have gone after Kaffa. For the same reason, we're just looking to get a native interest in the region, uh, primarily here. But we are starting to get big chunks of Africa here. Big chunks. Dialectics almost done. 
cool. We get philosophy department in the unis. We will come in here and we will switch to philosophy department. Which greatly exp well, it increases the innovation. We should also proc the philosophy department event, I think. What does this require? The workforce ratio occupancy has to get high enough? What? It's real high. More than 90% of eligible buildings? I mean, I do have more unis than just those, but... There we go. And of course, we will take... Oh, no! Synthesis, antithesis! And we take the progress here. Towards pragmatism. Uh, probably not going to go pragmatism for a hot minute, though. These guys should give up pretty soon here. I think we're pretty okay losing the money here. A big part of this is lack of uh, administration, which is part of us... I guess we should have just thumbed over and seen how much bureaucracy we were running. This is actually pretty uncomfortable, this deficit, but... Uh, we're not going to slow down. Can't stop, won't stop. So now we can declare another interest. So we're going to here in North Africa. We can go after Tripoli, I think. It's a good one to go after because they do have a good amount of oil. And we're currently not very well set up in terms of oil at all. We don't have any of the like East Borneo places. We don't have any of the Middle East. And Tripolitania is a very sensible one to go after, I think. So, we'll also go after these guys, just look to make Vassal, and then annex them near future. But let's just see how much the Vassalization, yikes, that's quite expensive. Uh, we think that Great Britain sides with us. I don't even think we can ex... We don't even have an adjacency to them at the moment. Hmm. Maybe we just try and get them a little bit more slowly. We are going to be, like, vassalizing and annexing these guys, so let's just do that. But currently in very good shape. Wealth voting will be nice for evening out the clout a little bit. Uh, the landowners specifically will also get kneecapped quite a bit, which will be good. And the Ulema, hopefully we can get them marginalized soon enough. Sins of the past. Uh, we'll take the 20%. Well, I don't want to kneecap the intelligentsia guy. Which it kneecaps all these guys. I don't mind if these guys and these guys get kneecapped, but the intelligence guy kind of don't want that. Could also go elected bureaucrats uh, soon here, because we do have a Republican. Uh, what is it? Armed forces guy. Normally, going elected bureaucrats can be a little bit tricky, so this would be quite good if we can get in on that. How's our colonization efforts going? Why do we not have a colony here? We're supposed to have a colony here. It's not ideal. Although, I think we're under cap, so it's not too big a deal either way. But we would like to cut them off of some of this expansion. We're making a decent amount of money here. I think we will want to put a railway down. It looks like there's one in the queue somewhere. I'm gonna put these on auto expand and going to finish out the gold mines here. Don't know how this got unassigned, a little bit annoying. 
would Triple Atania entertain becoming our tributary? Um, they're defending the borders. Yikes. Uh, don't have a customs union. They are neutral. We could get them out of neutral. We can... I think we have to consider getting recognition now as kind of somewhat important. We don't quite have the navy to pull off a landing. Speaking of navy, we need to recruit an admiral. We need to come in here. We already are expanding that a little bit. All right, we're gonna need to expand it some more. Let's just make sure that we're in the same strategic region. Uh, okay, so here we are. So why don't we come up a little bit on both. And of course, the shipyard, we're going to put it on auto-expand. It's really not profitable, because we're mainly using the British ship building. But, uh, we're going to want this to be a little bit bigger at some point. Government administrations are just about to finish, so we will stop running this, uh, very uncomfortable 7% tax waste, which is really bad to run. I think we do want to think about just adding a couple more of these just in, just to, uh, Add a little bit of buffer, because we are going to annex people. We get a Tatswana Uprising. I think we will just you use these guys to go over there. Once we're done over here, they should just send on over. Oh my god, my kingdom to be able to click that. I guess it's just impossible, huh? Never going to happen. Can't happen, won't happen. Now we could go on this and then go there. Uh, yeah, they got spears and stuff still. Now where's Tatswana? it down here okay well, it is going to take us a while to get to that front actually so hopefully we finish up this battle soon and hopefully it full occupies them hopefully i recognize that the game is paused that would be good too you know quality gameplay here yep very nice we've come up like a hundred construction. I guess we kind of have the goal for coming up another couple hundred. Uh, I guess we gotta stop thinking the game's paused when it's not. It's not profitable yet. The tooling workshop might be. No, it's not. Ooh, definitely want these on an all ammonia process. Definitely want to get in on the boom booms. Gonna actually add an even another government administration. I really don't want to be running these deficits. Uh, I also want more construction. This is a decent spot. The 17, we can. Uh, our allies will be able to handle this without us, so we move this over here. By allies, I mean subjects. Pretty comfortably. Let's just look. I think we might have some, yeah, we want to get rid of this in Transvaal. Not sure why I was building there. We don't want to get rid of him in both spots, but we cannot while we have the revolution brewing. A Bruin. Maybe we want to add a couple of ports. We get wealth voting, nice. And we get parties and such too, so. I think we don't have uh, the super progressive party at this point, but we will get a little bit of a thing. Uh, Swana breaks out. We are not there yet, unfortunately, so we're... Ugh, this is actually really ugly to be losing the territory here. It looks like we actually have a decent <laughs> defense here. Gonna put these gold mines, one in the front, one in the back. Interesting that the railroad got built there, but okay. Now we should be able to push pretty comfortably. And we have oligarchy gotten rid of. And so I guess we kinda wanna see what we can what our voting thing looks like before we decide what we want to go for. Actually no, we just want to get elected bureaucrats here, if we can. 
Uh, should be a little bit difficult for us to push in, but we'll see. 21,000 here. Making some bank now that this has been solved. Notably, have a ton extra. So, we will come in here and look to put some construction centers down. Alright, that should be good. Desperately need more railways here. We're just going to add one to the top. We're, yeah, we're on dynamite right now. Dynamite will be pretty good for us. Because it will allow us to be... Man, Great Britain's making a lot of progress here. Which we don't like. We do not like that at all. Uh, this is a source of pain for us. We finished a bunch of construction centers, so now we're a little bit over 30% increased construction centers. Russia started a conquer state to play against Egypt? What the frick? That's weird. Now that the revolution's gone away, we will fire the people down here. Just sticking on our 50-50 size. Okay. Uh, industrialists should be pretty happy with us, so I think we can afford to take this hit. An election's coming up. We'll see what we look like post-election. Probably want to keep the armed forces in government, whatever happens. How much infamy do we have? 17. Decent amount. Maybe you want to annex these guys. We believe that Great Britain will side with the enemy. Just kidding. But that means they're close to wanting to side with the enemy. That makes me uncomfortable. Hmm. Very much do not like that. I think we have munitions plants unlocked now. So I'm gonna make some even though we can't make use of them the great the british can and this will set us up in a spot to go skirmish infantry a little bit more comfortably later down the road we overbuilt this tremendously so we do want to annex people and we get our government so let's see about oh well this government looks super legitimate i guess we stay with this which is we're more than happy to uh, and we see that, you know, the Ulema came up, the Petite Bourgeoisie came up, and if we exit reform government, these guys should be coming up quite a bit, eventually, I guess. Um, but we are going to take a save and try and see if we can go after Messena just to annex them. We have a bunch of excess bureaucracy that we're floating, uh, kind of expanded a lot more than I wanted to, but we can expand these two institutions off the back of that. But I think uh, annexing Messena and then incorporating their states is probably a good go. And so we'll do this. And hopefully... Whoa! What is this? Chad? Okay. Well then, we'll need to mobilize both guys. And we'll put this guy into Chad. We'll go establish colony and we'll make sure we're colonizing in the spots we want to be. I think we are incorporated here. We can't incorporate here. We should be incorporated here, here, here. Or working on it at least. We're losing a little bit of money, this is fine. Increasing both these institutions will be really nice. We definitely want to come up on this quite a bit. I'm trying to catch up on the research. It is very uncomfortable to be this far behind. Um, what can we do here? Well, I guess we're doing dynamite ahead of time, so let's stop doing that. I didn't realize. Let's do this and then this. 
We still want dynamite, but we don't want to be going ahead of time at all, ever. Uh, because we are trying to play catch-up mode. Hmm. We could try it here. Let's see if we can who we can improve relations with. Definitely want to be good relations with these guys if we can. And then we'll declare a couple rivalries that make sense, maybe. Oh, we can rival all these, like, little itty-bitty guys? Come on, let's go, baby. Free... Free freaking Diplo or whatever. We can improve relations with, I think, Spain and Kebab. Portugal, maybe? We might want to fight Great Shang in the near-ish future, so that's why we're leaving it off there. Oh, these just make so much money. Let's go, baby. Had lost a little progress here on an acting bureaucrats, getting rid of them. This is the Conservative Party? Interesting. The Republican Conservative. We'll keep on appointing bureaucrats. There's not really laws that we like kind of want to pass in the immediate future that we can. Public schools would be okay, but we can't get it without the uh, trade unionists because we decided to go private schools first. Also, by the time we get there, private schools might be better, so. We'll see. These chem plants. God, it feels like our construction's going so slow. I guess maybe reinforced concrete would be okay. Following this, we're really trying to build faster. Your chemical bleaching for paper mills and bone china. Alright, we annexed Messina, so we can come in and can't incorporate this yet, we can incorporate this, and we're going to need some more government administration, but we could build a couple, and then we really would like to just make more opium, but we can't do that right now. I guess we decrease these by a little, increase these by a little. This sort of stuff, we will put these on rail transports, and actually and then we'll swap all their PMs over. The bureaucratic struggle. We don't want to take a hit on the bureaucracy, so we'll take enactment time hit. And we want to keep in mind that we do have excess bureaucracy as a function of that event. So it is not ours forever. We're going to about to get the paper mill thing. I think we don't need this military, so let's delete it. We get chem bleaching. So we can swap over some PMs. If my brain works correctly. All well, very suspicious. Expanding quite nicely here. Up construction by about 50% so far this episode, and we're still making hand over fist again, so don't mind putting this in here. What's that? We have a special building. I don't think I've seen this building before. This gives increased education access. That is a banger. It does give increased political strength, but plus 20 education access is super nice. How much arable land? I guess maybe this is actually not worth it. Because I think, does this education access apply only here? 
A bonus or penalty to education access for all pops. Is this local? If this isn't local, this is a crazy good building. What? So we're gonna take a look here, what education access is. The systems in this game are sometimes just so hard to, like, figure out. Or they're just, like, not transparent. We're scrolling here for education access, because we want to just read what our current education access is at. Just trying to find education access here. See innovation. See tech spread. I see maximum innov innovation. Okay, it's not my at all. But it's for all pops. Wow, if that just gives us to us for all pops, that'll be so nutter. I have no idea this uh, unique building was here. In Eastern Mali. It's gonna take 100 weeks to produce, but that will help out quite a lot. That will also make the strategy for Sokoto a little bit different. That will take the free uni. I mean, we do have to populate it, so there's that, but other than that. That's nuts if it's really all pops. We currently don't have that modifier at all. What is our infamy looking like? I have a very large amount of infamy here. We're decently large. Wow, they have a ton of stuff. I guess maybe we should just let them build up more stuff. Because it looks like these guys are constructing super huge amounts of stuff. take a quick save here and then take food of Jalan. I guess so it seems to be the case that the one state miners just like construct absolutely enormous amounts of stuff um, and so annexing them might not, not even be worth it because I don't know what it is that makes them able to construct a whole bunch but uh, they can so red tape I think that's I think that we have uh, reached the end of this uh, flirtation with this. And so now let's take a look. Ooh, super righteous. Let's go, baby. Um, I don't think we want to pay for the police in terms of the cost of the uh, stuff. So yeah, I think we're good for now. And we will uh, up this because we're going to need it. And we will do some of this. Add a railway in the front. Add a couple railways in the front. Whoa. We suddenly need a bunch of infrastructure. Or, uh, we were getting a bunch of free... Sorry, bureaucracy. We were getting a bunch of free bureaucracy, and then we lost the free bureaucracy while we were passing the event. Because we had gotten a positive event that gave us more bureaucracy, and then we lost it. Uh, unfortunately, the UK couldn't lose this. We would love that. I don't know, we might get chances to fight the UK over this stuff yet. Not in a, anywhere near a position to do that now. 
we are pretty gold dependent, so I think this dynamite and the construction is pretty good because the dynamite and the construction together will allow us to build a lot more. Our buildings are going kind of slow right now. Hopefully we not spread general staff soonish. That's kind of a big one. Um, I guess maybe we want to go egalitarianism kind of soonish after this. Or central archives, actually. We are starting to hit some serious bureaucracy costs. It would save us a lot of construction in terms of what we're building if we could research that tech. <clears throat> we might want to increase the uni. Just put two in there. At the back of the queue. There's a queue so large right now that there's a lot to be done. Wow, I had no idea this building existed. This is so nuts. Just 20% education access. I guess perhaps it's worth not incorporating this state for the extra 2%. We're not going to do that because it feels a little bit gamey, but this might be the correct thing to do, just not incorporate it, because this education access is, uh, yeah. The, the colonial exploitation does apply to it. All right, let's swap RPMs. So we're gonna swap these to vacuum. Then we're gonna come in here and go dynamite on everything. Very importantly on the gold, gonna make a ton more for minting. So this one has, it's gonna double the minting amount. Let's go, baby. Yeah, look at that just spike up like 510k or whatever. Hell yeah, brother. And then... We will add more construction. Yay, construction. Probably, well, it's like tech construction centers. That's probably a little bit too many, but we'll build into them. And then we'll look and see if we have any gold mines that are unbuilt. No, we do not. Okay. So we are going to come in here and go on the coal mines and build level ones everywhere that can build one. And we're going to do that for all of these... Uh, because I think we want to set them on auto-expand. Well, we actually don't need to uh, auto-expand, but in the future we might want to. So it would be nice to have all these set up for that. And raw resources are great. We love raw resources. And so I don't think I'm going to annex these guys in the near future, because it seems like they're just content to... Uh... Oh, they're in the British market here? Uh, probably not going to be able to incorporate them then. Yeah, we just added a bunch of construction centers. We're up to 475. We might hit doubling construction yet. Um, just off of printing the gold, really. Gotta try and keep an eye on what's going on up here. If one of these guys gets a really big revolution... You did not eat Scandinavian in the Baltic. Interesting. But if they get a really big revolution, we might be able to do something. Might be able to make some money moves. You know what I mean? I do you think we might want to... Do some of this action as well. There's already five in the queue, but I feel like we're coming up quite strongly here. Now we do have a good amount of infamy, so we don't need to start a war. We could also integrate these boys. I guess we can't. I'm just kidding. We don't want to integrate these boys. We can't start fights with these boys. The United States is no longer settling. This is such a big infamy hit. I think we might go after South Gabon here, though, considering... American Gabon. And then we also try and pick off the war reps. It looks like they're not colonizing anymore anyways. And this is kind of cheaper. You can also go after Rift Valley. Don't hate this. It's 10 infamy. We think Great Britain sides with us. This gives us access into these guys. Try and go after these guys. Um, which we eventually want to do anyways. 
which is going to increase the overall surface area we have into like the severe malaria stuff later on. Although, I kind of want to get after Tripoli here. This is a lot of infamy, so... I just gotta chill. I don't want to go for 25, so I guess it's mainly chill, and then we go after Tripoli. Uh, we would get a lot less infamy if we were... Uh, recognized. But I don't think we can declare a recognition war very easily. Now we're losing a ton of money. Don't know what that's about. We're paying a lot in subsidies. 12k. Well, let's see if we can turn on anything. Just look in the PM section. We can. We can turn on rail transport here. And here. So that should decrease the subsidies we paid. Shewa wants a defensive pact. I don't think so. Swap these to harvesting tools, that'll be a little bit more profitable, and these to vineyards and soil enriched. Farming. Swap these to rails as well. And that's not doing too much. Oop, can swap these to explosive shells. Haven't finished yet, but it's good. Yeah, water tube boiler is not going to be profitable yet. I think maybe we want to set coal and iron to auto expand. In general. Definitely want these auto expanding, but I don't think we have any potentials yet. Currently have a very filled out queue though. I guess we're mostly on ch Yeah, we just mostly are on chill mode. We don't want to go cultural exclusion right now because it makes it harder to shift multiculturalism later. Because a lot of people will just be okay with going uh, that, but they won't be... Um, they are okay with the transition from national supremacy to multiculturalism, while they're not okay with the transition from cultural exclusion to multiculturalism. I guess we don't need this coming up as much. The minting in the loan interest rate is actually super nice. Maybe we go egalitarianism next to try and unlock multiculturalism. Shift work is not spreading to us, which is fantastic. Also wouldn't mind going steel railway cars. Does Geldy have any resources, raw resources we would want? Ah, not in particular. They are also a one state miner, so like I think they overbuild, or like whatever it is that allows them to build more. Yeah, like these guys are super caked up, you know, these guys are super caked up. Like in terms of, they, of course they run shortages, right? So maybe us just getting into the US to get into these guys is actually super worth it and we just vassalize all these guys. And they paid us their money. Pretty good shape here. We're slowly... Hmm. Not sure if we're going to hit the construction goal. We do... We are finishing these mines. Are these mines just taking forever, actually? Are they eating more than 20 construction? They are just taking forever, actually. Because of the... Yeah, okay, let's kick these mines to the bottom. I'm not paying close enough attention. They're taking forever because there's a lot of turmoil here. Yeah. And, uh... There's a lot of turmoil because there's a lot of... Because there's overbuilt. Okay, we're going to delete some of these things. Uh, let's delete this and, uh... Well, I kind of don't want to delete a bunch of stuff, but... We can delete a lot of this stuff, I guess. The banana plantations aren't doing anything for us. Uh, these are generally not that profitable. These, and this way, we are much better on the infrastructure, so the jobs are more profitable. The turmoil decreases. Hopefully. Is it going up? It's going up. Okay, uh, so. Let us ditch this for now, and... Mm -hmm. 
emergency relief there. I don't think we're having this problem with Transvaal as much. I think this is going down. Yeah, it's going down. So now this is going down with the emergency relief. Okay. And also the more reasonable looking stuff. Yeah, also it just felt like construction was just going ungodly slow. That makes a whole bunch of sense. Okay, we're gonna have a bit of a come up now. It was going ungodly slow. That was really bad. I should have noticed that earlier. Oh well. I'm gonna look to expand construction some more though. That's probably too much, huh? Oh well. Gotta risk it to get the biscuit. This should come down. This is coming down. Really want multiculturalism because that's gonna decrease uh, radicals from discrimination by quite a bit. I think that that's a decent source of uh, Let's see, political movements, standard of living, and eh, discrimination is not too bad. Most of the changes are because of standard of living uh, coming up, so. I'm losing a little bit of money, but. The gold here, on the other hand, should be building decently because I don't think they're, yeah, they're not, they have no uh, devastation or whatever problems. Have that on auto expand now. Great Britain started to ban slavery play against us. I think we're super okay to just giving in, but I think that this does eject us as protectorates, or doesn't it? Hmm. Let's we'll see if we can sway anyone. If we can sway on anyone, maybe we can do something. Really don't mind banning slavery in, slavery in Karda. Maybe that's why these places do so well, though. Maybe it's just slavery is super good with them. Let's look who we could sway. There's a good chance we just give in, so. Um. Would not mind liberating Cape Colony, to be honest, as the primary war goal. So we can convince France to join. And so the question is, is, well, we can just give in as well right now. So I think we're gonna save. And then have a little bit of a think here. Or maybe we save this decision for next episode, actually. Um, yeah, so this episode, we didn't quite double construction, but we added 200 construction on the back of the gold. And we kind of made a bit of a mistake just having so much construction going on in these places that have really high turmoil. Uh, because even though the gold was really, really nice, uh, they do have negative state construction efficiency. So it looks like they fixed the problem where you would just bug in infinitely. And it looks like the cap is that you can contribute is 20 construction, but if you have you know, minus 75% construction efficiency, it takes four times longer to finish the building. And so uh, we kick those to the bottom of the queue. We'll finish them later once the devastation and stuff's a little bit lower. Um, or sorry, the turmoil rather. And so we, we spent, this was actually perhaps a little bit of a mistake uh, in regards to state construction efficiency because we just burned a bunch of construction efficiency in here. And it also just felt like our, our queue was like molasses, which it was like molasses. Um, and so hopefully now things will be a little bit better. Um, it does feel like this episode was a little bit of a brick on that front. 
uh, at least. Uh, but we also discovered this really, really neat building. I suppose this is actually the coolest thing. This is the Mosque of Genet, which gives just 20% education access. And the thing we wanted to check is if we go into modifiers, it's just giving just free education access to all of our pops, uh, which is absolutely nutters. So this might actually be, I, I had no idea this the unique building was here, but this is nuts. Um, and so I, yeah, this, this building is just 20% education access for free is gonna be insane. Our literacy rate should just like go up enormously quickly here. Uh, it's already really high in Eastern Mali. So maybe it's regional. I don't think it's regional because it is just a global modifier. Anyways. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one.